Hello guys. Hello guys. This video is for beginners in Gele. So if you don't know how to do anyone, bring your seat, bring out your materials, sit down, let us do this simple style together. So first of all, I'm going to start from the front. Then my, my material, I'm dividing it into 50-50. That means the two sides will be equal. Then after that, I place it on my head. Then start doing my little pleat from the front. I'm going to do at least four to five pleat. So this is how to do pleat too. This thing you are doing, you are seeing that I'm doing, this is how to do pleat. It's not difficult. So that is it. You first of all, place your hand at the center. This is how I call it my pleat. Drag some materials to the front. Then adjust them by the side. Even when it's rough from the beginning, don't just mind it. Ignore it. Continue the process. Take from the center. Take from the center. Then dress it by the side. So why I said you shouldn't mind the roughness because after you are done, you are going to arrange it properly. That time that you are taking it, it will be scattered. But once you are done, make sure that you arrange it. So I'm trying to arrange it in this very aspect. So after arranging the side, I will still come back to the center and arrange it. This is how to arrange it. So you make sure that no one is slapping each other, as in no one is hiding under each other. Just make sure that each of the, the, the front, each of the mouth is showing and let it be step by step. That is all about pleat. So I'm done with my pleat. I'm done with my pleat. So because I want the center of my hair to show, so I have to push some materials at the back to the front small. So that was all I did. Then this is the back. Getting to the back, I'm going to just, I'm going to just cross it. Please don't mind the underground noise. My kids are back from school. So this very place, I will widen that place up and take note. So there's something you have to note here. Make sure that is the front that you are working with. First of all, check before you do anything next at this very place. So before you go on, you take the side that are closer to your ears, as in the, the edges that are closer to your ear. That is the two edges that you pick first. Then take it to the up and not only once. So I am just knotting once the ear. Then after, before you knot, check the side. Make sure that the side are not covering the beautiful pleat that you have made. So just check properly. That is what I'm doing before I will go on with the style I want to do at the front. So that is it. So this very place, I'm going to form a little bow. I'm going to form a little bow tie. So before that, just watch my folding. I will fold once, two times, then the third time. Then push it back a little bit to make sure that is now closer to that place i noted the first place then the other handle that is at the back i will bring it to the front then raise that center up then use it to pass under it and now pin it at the back so that is how i formed my little bow here so that is that about forming a bow at the front the person you are hearing her voice is mommy g if today is the first time you are coming across my video please after watching click on the like button or the follow button and follow my page for more tutorials on daily head wrap so i'm using my office pin to pin that behind like i said then after that i will come and dress the front properly and if you are working with office pin be careful Ah, could you believe that that thing pierced my hand? But because it's a video, I have to bear it. So this very place that didn't form very well, I will use office pin and hold the second bow that didn't form well. And I will use my office pin to hold, to pin some inches there, to pin it behind. So that is that. Now just watch what I will do with all these materials that I left. Left. So I'm going to do something like a round. Do you know how all round gale used to be? As in it to be in form of a circle, in form of a pleat that they gathered. But it's not going to be a smooth one. I will just run it expressway. That is how it is. But it will still be in form of a round. So after gathering some materials there, arranging it properly. That is what I'm doing. 
raising it up arranging it forming a little pleat as a but it's not going to be a smooth one then i will use my office pin and pin behind first before i will now work with the second second as in the other side that is left so my one side is now done so watch this very place carefully if you did not watch the first place you gather from the up to the down from the up to the base gather them as in form them let it be a line in line as in it will just be line 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 see how i'm smiling because the style is already making sense then coming to the center i will now pin it with the first one that i did i will pin it in a way that that bow will cover it so that is it about the style the style is giving is giving is beautiful so that is that about this very style please if you are coming across my video that the first time after watching help me like oh, comment on like comment then share 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 me out or you don't want people to see me you don't want other people to learn what you are learning please share me out that is all i want from you remember we rise by lifting each other i can't rise alone i need you to rise you will also be needing me in one way or the other to rise too so time for me to push back i just pushed it back a little bit so that my front edge the small front edge that i have will show but if you have big one maybe if you are wearing a frontal wig you can push your own very well so i am done with it i'm just trying to dress it well here because that place is not like the other side so i'm trying to arrange them properly now i am done with it see now see gang 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 fine woman thank you guys for watching see you in my next video love you like comment and share